derivation of work energy theorem for a variable force we all know very well kinetic energy is known as half mv square so when we differentiate it with respect to time i can say d by dt kinetic energy let i am writing k instead of kinetic energy ke it is d by dt half mv square further we will write half common mass constant and it is d by dt into v square again we will solve it half m d by dt v square is written as the 2v dv by dt and 2 will be cancelled so in next step we will write d by dt of kinetic energy is given by mv dv by dt and i hope all of you know very well this dv by dt is known as the acceleration that you know very well so i can write it as mass into velocity into acceleration and mass into velocity is known as the force so this is force into velocity i hope it is clear to all of you then velocity can be written further written as dx by dt now we will write d by dt of kinetic energy is given by f that is d by dt of position x next step we can write dk is given by f into dx now we'll integrate it between initial kinetic energy kinetic energy initial to kinetic energy final and x is changing from x initial to x final what we are getting dk means it is k then lower limit is kinetic energy initial upper limit is kinetic energy final equal to f dx ka integration karoge to kya aayega x x initial to x final so kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial is written as the f x final minus x initial so this is change in kinetic energy delta k and this is change in position that is f into delta x and we all know that f into delta x is known as the work so what is the work energy theorem work done is given by change in kinetic energy